what I was telling y'all about what's going down in California with the truckers and the law that the uh, state of California passed in 2019 that's actually about to be official in a few days. Uh, this is going to raise prices for all of us and uh, it's, it's not going to make any of our lives easier, especially uh, truckers in California, independent contractors. Check it out. It's roll tape. Independent truckers bracing for a new state law that could put them out of business and make the supply chain problems even worse. Good evening, I'm Sarah Donchi. And I'm Ryan Yamamoto. The U.S. Supreme Court declined to hear a challenge to the state's gig worker bill, throwing a wrench in the trucking industry that increasingly relies on independent truckers. AB5, known as the gig worker bill, was passed back in 2019. The state law reclassifies independent contractors as employees, but until now, a lawsuit prevented any impact on the trucking industry. So that suit claimed that the law would devastate the industry. John Ramos talked to independent truckers and business owners who say the impact could be disastrous. AB5 was intended to give transport workers more workplace protections, but for truckers who own and operate their own rigs, it may be the end of the road, and that's going to affect all of us. On Thursday, the U.S. Supreme Court made news again, this time by refusing to hear a challenge by California truckers to the new law that requires truck drivers to be employees of the trucking companies they do business with. This ruling really took everybody uh, off guard, especially the way they um, at, at the speed that they kicked this back, you know, essentially made it law. The problem is nearly all of the state's goods are transported by truck, many of which are owned and operated by individual drivers. That's especially the case at the Port of Oakland. And there's 9,000 trucks that serve the port on a daily basis, and 90% of them are independent contractors. So this is a big, big impact. Bill Abudi owns AB Trucking in Oakland. He employs his own drivers, but also uses independent contractors to handle overflow business, which just became illegal. Abudi says he won't be able to use trucks owned by the drivers anymore. It just doesn't work. You own your own truck. It's your truck. I can't take possession of it and start using it. In a case like my company, we just eliminate owner-operators and, and just reduce the, the workload. That's a disaster for Hedayatollah Abrahimi, who just bought his own truck a month ago. He, like other owner-operators, spent tens of thousands of dollars to not be someone's employee. Do you feel a sense of pride in owning your own truck? Oh, yeah, why not? Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> that's my, my own truck, my, you know, working for myself. Now his truck will be useless unless he wants to become his own trucking company, booking his own loads and dealing with the port bureaucracy. Are those all the things that the trucking company does for you now? Yes, please, yeah. Yeah, they arrange everything, and they, they, they talk to the big companies, to the port, everything, and they take all the loads for us. So you don't have to do any of the paperwork yourself? No, 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 no not the paperwork. His dream of being a truck driver just got a lot more complicated. But industry experts predict many won't stay in California, which will only make the supply chain problems worse and the cost of everything in the state even more expensive. It's going to adversely affect everybody, and with inflation being as high as it is, this is going to put inflationary pressure on the uh, consumer. In Oakland, John Ramos, KPIX5. No one seems to know how the new law will be enforced or who will enforce it, but legally, it is supposed to go into effect in just a few days. It's again, part of Agenda 21. I'm trying to tell you all, please like and share and get this out there so people know what's going on. Please. Thank you.